What's going on guys? Uh, it's been a little while since I've, I've done a video um, and so my apologies on that. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on some of the things that, that have been going on uh, here. Still in Iquitos, Peru and uh, been been out on my land, you know, primarily working on uh, finishing our house. It's very close to being finished. Uh, we're going to be able to um, uh, you know, offer that as, as a place to stay for people that want to uh, come out and visit. So it's going to have three bedrooms and uh, yeah, that's that's uh, very close to completion, and um, uh, really looking forward to that. It's it's actually much uh, cooler. You know, one of the things is like you, you're dealing with the heat here, and the heat can be a little bit unbearable, uh, particularly in the middle of the day. But this house is right next to the Amazon River, and so because of that, it's it's much more refreshing, and uh, going to you know build a, a little bit of a, a space for for doing some work, you know, getting on a laptop and, um, you know, doing, doing some, some talks and stuff. And so, um, you know, I've, I've had my eye on, on crypto, just kind of been checking prices and things like that, but haven't, as, haven't been as, as involved as, as I'd like to be. You know, I've been kind of hoping to finish some of the projects on my land and, and, and get some clarity on, on some, some issues and problems I've been, been dealing with uh, here in the city with with uh, you know uh, several different things, um, which I'm not going to you know go into too much, but um, you know I think the uh, you know the the thing that has been has been really you know something that I've been wanting to um, you know focus a little bit more on is, is has been you know some of the different projects that have a lot of upside in in cryptocurrency and and uh, you know certainly getting into some of the you know the you know the major uh, altcoins. You know those those have been performing you know super well. Bitcoin just hit an all-time high the other day, and so that's pretty awesome to see. Um, I, I just feel like there is so much opportunity in a lot of the undervalued coins in different markets. There's a lot of things that um, you know can can 10x, 100x real easily with the strength of the cryptocurrency markets as they are today. I think that you know we're we're heading into um, you know some some uncertain times politically. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that are going on, you know, in the traditional financial markets that are causing a lot of inflation and, and um, um, you know, kind of devaluation of, of, of some of those, those, uh, those traditional assets. And so the, the cryptocurrency markets, I feel like, have really been an outlet for people to get into. And, and I think we're seeing, you know, a, an unprecedented time right now. You know, I don't feel that this this next bull market that we're going to be in is going to be, you know, the same as as some of the others. I mean, this is, you know, over the last several months, we've seen, you know, Bitcoin, you know, really start to take off. You know, you have the ETFs approvals. Uh, I think that there's a, a lot of information out there on, on, you know, for instance, like, you know, when, when they do an Ethereum ETF, you know, that could have, you know, massive upside potential for for, um, you know, everything that's kind of on the Ethereum blockchain. And uh, you know, Pulse Chain has been something that's that's uh, also been a, a, a big sleeper. You know, I think that uh, Richard Hart's going to beat you know the case that that he's got. He's he's uh, he's put a tremendous amount of effort into that, and um, you know, I think that uh, Pulse Chain will be a, a, a really good option for people that don't want to pay some of the you know the fees that you're going to have on on some of these other chains. So having some of that flexibility and uh, um, you know the the functionality of some of the blockchains, you know, in this day and age, you know, you would think we would have, you know, some better solutions out there. But you know, still, you know, to transact on Ethereum is is really expensive, and to get into some of these uh, other projects, you know, I mean, Tron used to be that solution, and um, you know, it's it has a, a lot of quirks to it now. You got to stake a bunch of coins just to do a transaction for free, and. I stopped being able to do that because it's like you got to put more, more and more money into it just to be able to do like one transaction a day. So I don't know if, if, if some of these uh, these other you know um, you know blockchains you know BSC was another one that the fees have really been you know going up on that. Um, and there are a lot of uncertainty with uh, you know some of the the regulatory crackdowns on Binance, and uh, you know you see that they're phasing out BUSD and. You know, so you know, I got into uh, a lot of stuff. I, I, I put into Elephant Money, and um, you know, they had to make some serious changes with BUSD. And so I've been talking a little bit about that in, in some of my previous videos. And uh, you know, uh, you know, at the time I took a risk. Um, you know, I even talked with BT personally, and and uh, you know, was was saying that I was going to be getting into to futures and, and trunk and. And uh, went in, and about a month later, you know, you saw the, you know, the all everything just blew up, and um, so that was really disheartening. 
Um, I was planning on using a lot of those funds for, for some of the projects that I have on my land. I do think it's going to go back up. I, I think that some of the changes that, that BT made, um, you know, he had to, you know, make an executive decision and, and make those changes when he did. But unfortunately, I got in at, at the wrong time and, um, and you know, it, it went down 80, 85 percent in value, something, something crazy. So uh, I'm just a bag holder on those. I've been a bag holder on, on you know, my pulse chain and, and hex and, and uh, PLSX and several others. Um, GBTC was, was one uh, with a wrapped version of uh, the, the mirrored BTC on pulse chain. Um, you know, and uh, there's uh, many other projects that I got into, but there's some, um, there's gonna be some more opportunity in some of these and, and I think that there's, uh, a lot of people that I've been listening to and talking to that are getting more into uh, some of the opportunities that are out there. And so I, I, I want to, um, you know, take a stab at some of these again and, and try and, you know, you only need one home run. And, uh, you know, I, I certainly hit a home run, you know, with Hex. You know, I put a few thousand bucks into Hex, you know, back, you know, several years ago, about four years ago. And it's it's gone up dramatically in value. At one point it was worth you know, millions of dollars. You know, it's not quite at that valuation today, but it could certainly hit that if uh, if we see a resurgence in in in, um, in pulse chain and hex ecosystems. And so, um, you know, I, I think that there might be some some other opportunities out there. Uh, I've been talking about maybe doing, you know, some of my own projects um, in the future and looking at, at some things that I'd like to incorporate into crypto, maybe with a you know real world element that it offers some. You know stability you know to it um you know some of these uh things that you get into in crypto they're you know they can be a little bit niche you know people that are kind of into crypto i've, I've tried to get some of my friends in here into crypto and they lose their private keys they don't remember their passwords they don't write things down even though you know i've tried to give them as, as much as i can in terms of the security measures to protect themselves so um, sometimes educating, you know, newbies and, and people that are, are, are new to crypto is, um, you know, is, is, is not, you know, the best use of time because, you know, I've, I've done that with some people here and, um, and uh, sometimes it, it doesn't always work, work out so well. You know, I try to get people into some projects and, you know, some things I thought that, you know, were promising and something happens and, you know, maybe the token goes down in value and then and then they blame me where, you know, I was just trying to, you know, help them, you know, get get started in, in something that I believed in. So, um, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, I want to I want to get back into to doing some more videos and 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 going into some different topics and maybe looking at some 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 projects out there that 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 look promising. And so I, I certainly want to, um, you know, find find some opportunity. Um, you know, I've been been teaching English uh, it's kind of basically a, you know a, you know a base you know something that I can I can kind of count on to at least help me pay my bills um, you know that, that I've got out here and um, so I've been doing that it's kind of more busy on on Sundays uh, on the weekends it tends, tends to be the time that, that people like to take classes uh, you know sometimes my internet hasn't been the greatest so that can that can kind of interfere with things uh, you know um, uh, but um, so you know, I want to, I want to, you know, find find some more opportunities. I'm curious, you know, uh, for some of the people that have been following me for a long time, you know, what you guys are into. Um, you know, be sure to drop that in the chat. Um, I've been talking a lot about doing, you know, a, a podcast, and and I think that that would be something that would be uh, really good, you know, for for my style of videos. I think that uh, I I I really uh, am good at at. Um, uh, kind of looking into to different projects, asking the right questions, trying to find, you know, some opportunity, giving my perspectives on, on some of the things that are trending out there. Um, you know, I've been kind of watching, you know, some of those, like, you know, there, there's, you know, every day it seems like there's a new project that, that uh, you know, everyone's talking about that could blow up. And um, uh, at least in, in some of the, the Telegram chats that I've been in and, uh, you know, some of the, you know, the rumblings, you know, that I hear in, in the crypto space. Um, you know, Twitter, and uh, I guess X now. Um, so there's uh, certainly um, certainly a lot of opportunity out there right now. And uh, I've been in crypto a long time. Um, you know, I, I have been, uh, you know, not uh, not doing as well. I've had a lot of, um, you know, unfortunate, uh, you know, 
you know, uh, getting into projects that, that didn't do as well. And you know, I think that you just gotta, um, you know, try to try to keep keep trying, learn learn from some of those as, as best you can. Sometimes it's, some things are out of your control, and there's only so much you can do. And um, you know, that's kind of you know been my, you know, the kind of the way that I've been looking at things. Just trying to, uh, you know, find some opportunity. I I think that there's. Uh, you know, there's going to be plenty of that here, uh, you know, in the near future. So uh, I'm going to be looking more into projects. I think I've got a little bit more time that I can start to focus on this now. Uh, you know, as I, you know, the last several months, I've really been kind of focused on, you know, um, you know, kind of handling, you know, a lot of issues and, and things that, that I've been dealing with here locally. And uh, so I'm hoping that I'm going to get, um, you know, past a lot of that, have a little bit more stability here and be able to really focus on, on um, you know some of the up-and-coming projects so um, so I'm gonna be looking into these um, uh, doing a little more research on some uh, trying to give you guys some updates on some things I think that that could could be uh, could be promising you know and um, you know uh, some of these like if, if you if you get into uh, you know a project uh, at the right time um, especially now like with with uh, uh, everything that's that's booming, you know, in, in the major altcoins or the major coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, things like that. Um, all of these smaller projects are just sleeping giants, and um, you know, all it takes is for a little bit of interest to get into some of those, and and um, you know, the, the sky's the limit. So uh, so be looking out for those. Uh, just wanted to you know come on, give you guys a quick update, and uh, tell you. You know, uh, kind of what's you know, kind of briefly what's been going on, and uh, going to be getting you know back into to, to doing more more um, more content on uh, specific projects and, and giving my perspectives and kind of exploring some of these a little bit. All right, so be sure to leave some of your comments in the comment section bef uh, below. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.